Hello power users, today we will be exploring fed function versus named formulas. We will see what are the similarities, what are the differences. We will look at the hood of those functions when they are changing and when they are not changing, which is better, which is essentially your default solution and where when to use a different function. So let's begin. I've already created a new screen named formulas versus set. We will have set functions and named formulas. And basically, first of all, we want to create a named formulas. We already have we already have our function. In this function, you will see that this will produce the last board game records name and how it's working. It will go to the board games, sort these board games based on created on value and sort it descending. So that means that the, the earliest record will be set last and the last record will be set first. So basically it will go with the first, which means that this, this is just a kind of lookup. It will just produce the first name of the board game. So let's recreate recreate this uh, now on our screen and let's go with the named formulas, variable, moderate solution. This is our last board game name. Not us, this is just the test data I created and I'm not really serious person, so I've created this like this. And we want to recreate this as a set function. So let's go and take this because we already have it up. Uh, so for test function, we can do it on the screen visible, right? But we can also do it on the button. I will, will create a button and on this button on select. We want our function. We want to use the set and let's call it var set test. So my, my imagination for variable names is really low today. So please, please don't, don't be mad. And we have this variable set test. Let's use it in our variable. Let's run our program. And as you see, the result is the same. So this is the similarity. First, when I click the button, the set function was, uh, was already was running. And name formulas is running all the time and it's only used when you need it. So you don't have to have any kind of behavior to start this name formulas on the up section, in the formulas function, where you have it constantly in your whole application. But when it comes to the set function, you need to set it always to have it. So if you, for example, if you are setting this set function on a button, you have to press this button. And if the button is not pressed because you, the user is not yet uh, used your button functionality, then there is no set value. Of course, you can use it on a screen, or uh, let's say on the on the navigation to to screen one. So if or or in case of our screen, you can go to the on visible and set it there. Yeah. So let's go. Let's set this on visible. You can transfer this functionality here. So let's, um, but of course you have to use it constantly when you need it. So if your user, for example, lands on the different screen and you have it on the on this screen and you set this variable, then your user won't get it. So in order for your user to always have the set uh, variable on, you will have to use it 
in the app section on start property. You can go with this and you'll have the set value for for uh, your uh, for uh, your entire usage of the app. So th those are the similarities. You are either using on start and set, you or you are using formulas. The formulas give are supposed to give you a better performance. We have to uh, trust the Microsoft on this. I did not yet cover the performance test, but I know I will in the future to see what real gain on this. Uh, but they, they're supposed to be faster and only accessible when you need it. But essentially the creation is pretty similar. But where are the differences then? Well, the main and the game-breaking difference for me is, is the fact that named formulas will adjust to your data if you are in context of, of, of Power Apps. What does it mean? Let's go with the patch. Let's use our board games. And let's create new records. So in second argument, to create new records, we'll use the defaults and use the schema of our board games. So this will basically be a, a clean record in our in our case. And let's only use name and, and uh, we'll use the updated name just to see what will update if we, we use this function. So what do you think will happen? Which one of those will update? Which one of those won't? I will give you a second to figure it out. You can stop the video and let's go. You see, we are patching and named formulas updated and set value did not because this is not dynamic function. It's, it's not immutable. You will have to set it over and over again when you need it. So if I will copy this, create a button, and we will go with updated to. Yeah, that's my imagination today. Now, both of them updated. So this is the difference. In the named formulas, we are updating constantly if we are in the context of our Power Apps. In set function, we are not. So. Another difference, and sorry, not difference, another similarity of those functions is what happens if I use something which is outside of our power app because, I don't know, many users are using different apps uh, to update the same data or someone is, is a malicious user and use the dataverse just to add our record by hand. This happens, so you have to be beware of this. So this, those are our last rows. So let's create a new row and let's use updated three outside. Let's, let's be clear about this. Okay, this record is already there. As you see, it gains good. We won't cover this, this is not important, but this is created record. Based on GUID, you can tell it. Let's go back to our application. Let's, let's run it and well, nothing happens, right? Because those, there was no change in the code during, the, during our session, let's say. We have to be aware of these functionalities. So if you are uh, under uh, danger that someone will use your data outside of your power apps because there is possibility to get this data and you really really need the latest data or or the whatever kind you are uh, the data you are using then you will have to be aware of this if the context of power apps is broken because someone went outside to power automate etc you both set and named formulas won't cover your scenario 
if you are not exclusively prepared for this. You can do it by two kind of preparation. First, there is a timer. You can set up timer which is ending constantly and then starting. So at the timer end, you are starting timer again. And on the timer end, you will refresh your source. So let's go with refresh board games. Because if I refresh the board games, then the named formulas will be refreshed. But the set won't, because it's, it's not constantly uh, being used, right? We already told this. Named formulas will cover this scenario if you are using refresh, but refresh is memory consuming, it's lower performance, so you don't want to constantly, constantly refreshing, of course, at the timer. Sometimes you can use this scenario It's if it's really important. If you want to further dig into this scenario, you can go to my channel and uh, you can find a video delay or wait condition power-ups. I will also link it in my description. Uh, another option, of course, is to use, use a button like refresh. Let's name it refresh. Or you can have any kind of uh, icon which will refresh the board games. This is less memory consuming because you won't constantly refresh your application. But as, you, as we know, this is use it only when necessary, I would say. Sometimes it's useful, but not, not in all the situations. So it all depends how, how are you, what's how the data are, is visible for other users which can mess them up outside of your apps. But if your data is secured and they, it's, it's used in your solution on which only admins can access or you and you are fine with nobody messing with your data, then I guess it's okay not to refresh the data. If it's not live refreshing scenario, you can just hope for the best, I would say. But always be aware of this. And this is something which uh, other tutorials, I, at least most of them probably won't tell you because the, the, I'm always prepared on the, on the worst side of, of the users. And I know that if a user can, can destroy something, they will probably. So. Those are the differences between the set functions and named formulas. Those are the, the similarities. When to use the set function and when to use named formulas? Well, basically, I would say that 80 to 90% of situation you will need and should use the named formulas for your, for your app. You can use the set functionality for your global variables, because this is for the global, global variables, when you need something which cannot be used constantly and you need to refresh it anyways. So for example, if I'm having the set functionality and, I'm, and I want to, so let's go to the on start and I want to use fun functions which I should set each time like random. What's that? I can't. Yeah, I've already had the, the different type of variables. So that's why the random functionalities uh, had an error. If I want to use this random variable constantly, this is a number you see in the, the random variable change, but if I set it now, so if I just use it here, shoop. Sure. 
great and i set this variable uh sorry also we need to change the label and i want to set this variable but i want to use, set it all uh, all the time then i will use the set function if i want to set it once uh, in the named formulas at the beginning then i would use the named formulas so this is one kind of functionality where set variable would be better other example of uh, named formulas when it should be used if you have any kind of master record which is your if you're using a form and if you're using any kind of process and you want to keep your ID of the process and other data, probably it's good idea to use a master variable for this. And master variable will keep all the data of your record. And if it will keep all the data of your record, if you use the set functions, you would have to constantly, after each change of your master record, set this variable to a new value in every screen in every update of your master record and if you use it in the named formulas then you set it once at the upstart at the beginning and then you will use it constantly without any issues you will always have up to date data of course remember if you are not messing with your data outside of your app so for this reason i would use the the master data and just maybe refresh the screen if necessary okay so that's all for today's tutorial i i hope this was this was something useful for you and you learned something new of course i did also when i looked at named formulas i will use it ex extensively now so, so the name formula will be part of my new favorite things in power up and this is great this is something i was really concerned about it that i have to set all those four of those variables over and over again and it produced a lot of errors in the app i uh, I've seen and uh, on the apps I've, I've supervised. So hope you have hope that this is uh, something which will be useful and have a great day. It's being of Kotsky out. Of course, you can sub, like, etc. on my channel. You know the drill. See you.